out of YouTube. I have a video uh, about chaining an SUV down to a trailer. And uh, I also have a video on showing you ratchet straps and axle slings I've got at Home Depot and tractor supply to use to secure a vehicle to a trailer. And uh, I've never had the car trailer to show you until now. I'm borrowing a buddy's car trailer for something. And I figured uh, I'll show you how to tie a car down to it using ratchet straps and axle slings. Now there's two, there's a couple of different things I'll show you, but we'll get to that uh, here in a minute. Uh, first off, like on my other load securement videos, this is a not really a how-to. It's how I do it. So I'm not liable for anything you do. If you lose a load, kill people, break stuff, hurt yourself, whatever. I'm not liable for anything. This is just how I do it. But, uh, yeah, so moving forward, weight. These cars are light, okay? So, you know, most vehicle, this, this particular trailer you can put, I believe... Like 600 and, uh, not 600, 6,000 pounds, a little more than that. Uh, I've, my brain's not working. It's like 6,500 pounds. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so this Blazer, if I remember correctly, weighs about 4,000 pounds. We need 2,000 pounds of load securement. And uh, I'm not fully strapped down because I'm just showing you, but the straps front and back with the slings pulling eh, that's plenty of load securement there if you add up the values so remember this is trailer two objects so those are cut in half uh, so yeah there would be four of them two on the front two on the back pulling in opposite directions but anyway getting into how to use the straps and well the slings and straps okay I showed you let me find them oh, here they are I bought these ones. These are 24 inch straps or 21 inch straps. Yeah, 21 inch straps. Uh, that's what I showed you in the video. But those are tractor supply. Those are Husky 2 inch ratchet straps. Uh, got those at Home Depot, like nine bucks. They have the J hook on them, not a flat hook. You want to make sure you get those or. You know something else if you have a car trailer they have kits you can buy not like at home depot or anything but nice car ratchet straps with uh locking hooks on them and all that fun stuff but i also bought these they're 34 inch axle slings for a reason and i'll show you it, they won't fit on this vehicle but they will fit i'm assure on the other vehicle we have here one of them that I can show you so I'll show you what I can do with those too if you can't get a good angle on something now this this vehicle is pretty high uh, this is the third vehicle this vehicle is pretty high uh, so we have good clearance up front and in the back to get our straps up and in there but uh, yeah so on the front, you got your two-inch strap tied in at the D-ring, going up to your vehicle, and the sl axle sling goes around the control arm, as you can see, right there. Probably getting covered in grease, but whatever. Uh, if these were the shorter slings, this hook would be back in on the tire. You want to make sure that if it is, that the the hook the is pointing away from the tire so it doesn't gouge the tire you also want to make sure that it's not angled in a direction as to where these can slip off of the hook but uh, on your front on your vehicles usually a good option is independent front suspension you go around the control arm and on four-wheel drive you just go around the solid axle 
if it has a solid axle or rear wheel drive they have like the older ones i beam you know uh the axle there in the back same thing d-ring two inch strap up to the sling this one was a little bit of a challenge to get hooked up because of the shock and the sway arm and sway bar and the brake lines you want to make sure not to crush your brake lines or else you'll be in a very bad mood so I got those ones it's in there pretty good nice and secure up and around the axle you could do it on the control arms as well if it has independent rear suspension uh, there are some instances where I did not like that I've hauled a few vehicles like that where they would not I didn't like how flimsy the control arms looked and I didn't want to be pulling on them and of course Get your trailer hitch if you wanted to go around that just make sure it's bolted solidly to the frame so that is how you use axle slings to tie down to your axles or control arms or whatever on a vehicle to tie it down to your trailer now I have one other thing I'm going to show you with the bigger sling here in a second okay this is your option for low clearance vehicles as you can see the front of the, my nissan altima there's not enough angled on the dangle to get something in there more than likely without hitting the front balance also if you don't like the tie down options on the vehicle you can use this method with anything that your sling will fit through now they have endless loops with this D-ring on one side and it's a strap that goes right into your ratchet and cinches down like tow truck drivers use. And this is the similar method they use. Well, the wheels are on a unibody car or any vehicle or one of the strongest points to uh, tie down to, especially on the unibodies. But uh, as you can see, you just shove your ring through the wheel in and out and around hook them up again make sure your hooks are not digging into the tire make sure you don't hit any brake or ABS lines in there and usually it'll be pulling down and out or you can get some more you know adjustment on that but if not put a moving blanket in there between the uh, it'll be fine but that's another way if you don't have tie down options that's one way you can tie something down if you have wheels with big enough holes so, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more. Hit that bell. When you subscribe to be notified when new videos come out. Again, this is not a how-to. I'm not liable for anything. Uh, be safe out there. And as I always say, until next time, stay crazy and have a good one, people.